Yo, what is up guys, it's Retro Giraffe. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Hopefully everyone is staying safe. This video is going to be an unboxing of a recent figure collection that came out for the Sword and Shield set. I believe this is the only figure collection, and I've been kind of holding off on unboxing it because there are just so many out there at your local Target, your Walmart, it's just everywhere. But I finally caved and I decided to buy one. So we have the box right here. So it is the new Sword and Shield figure collection. And for those that know me, I really like figures. Um, I think the Pokemon Company does a very good job in making these. And this one, obviously, as you can tell, it is the three starters from the Galar region, which is Sobble, Grookey, sorry, it's out of focus. So we have Sobble, Grookey, and Scorbunny. And obviously you see them right here. And I think this figure is very nice. We'll take a closer look at that. Also, one big thing that drew me to this box is this promo card right here. Personally, I don't think the Pokemon Company ever made a promo card that resembled the Japanese promo. So for those that don't know, this actually released in Japan first, and obviously Japan gets their product first. We know the English sets based off what the Japanese releases first. I believe they're about like a month or two ahead of us. But when I saw this promo and how it would be released in English, I had to pick this up. So this promo was given out to the people in Japan who pre-ordered Sword and Shield, I believe the video game, and they were given this promo card. And I never would have guessed that that promo would eventually come over stateside because Japanese has the best promo cards. I might buy just a bunch of these and hopefully get them graded because I think this promo card is very cool. And we have four booster packs as always. But before we get into it, let's just take a quick look at the box for those that are curious. We have Sword and Shield figure collection written all over. And here is the back. Three friends ready for adventures. So if you guys want to read that, please pause the video and read it. But yeah, let's get into this. Pretty excited for this, especially the figure and the promo. Also, something very cool about this box is that they have this like splatter paint design. Kind of reminds me of like Splatoon. But I don't know, I feel like if you want, you can like make this into like an art piece, like a diorama, something. I don't know, I'm pretty sure someone creative out there can do something with this box. But we'll put this off to the side. And we'll open this up. And also, I love this new change from the Pokemon Company. They made this like plunger system for the promo cards so it doesn't get damaged by usually these little nicks right here. These little nubs. So just pull this out. And the promo should just fall out of place. There we go. So let's just take all the contents out first and then we'll take a closer look at everything. Also, here is the code for you guys for this collection box. And let's take a closer look at this promo. So we have Pikachu, and we have the three starters in the back. We have Scorbunny, Grookey, and Sobble. Personally for me, I am Sobble Squad all the way. I know a friend of mine is actually um, Scorbunny. But yeah, this is a very nice promo card. Like I said, I'm very happy that it came stateside. And also, definitely want to get this graded because it just looks immaculate. So... Yeah, let me just put this in the sleeve real quick. So yeah, and like I said, I do want to purchase a lot more of these just to have in the collection and also maybe to grade a few. So we'll put this off to the side. Next, let's take a look at this figure. And I really like this figure because it's very animated. It kind of shows you the personalities of each starter. So we have Sobble just like staring off into space, Grookey looking cute, and Scorbunny being excited as ever. So I like how they kind of made all three of them into one compared to like doing separate boxes. So they're all standing around this like rock and it does stand on its own. So it does stand like that. So very sturdy, very stable. Funny thing is when I actually went to go buy this, I actually looked at each individual box to see which one had the cleanest figure. So just a little OCD thing for me personally. But yeah, very happy with this figure. Love figure collections as I said. So we'll put that off in the back as well. And we have two Rebel Clash a Cosmic Eclipse, and a Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. So believe it or not, this is actually my first Rebel Clash packs that I'm going to be opening. I do have a booster box and an Elite Trainer box on the way, which was like a little bundle deal that I found on eBay. And Cosmic Eclipse, I believe this set has like those full arts with like the trainer and the Pokemon, so definitely want a collection of that. So yeah, so we'll start off with the oldest set, which is Guardians Rising from the Sun and Moon era. I think the top cards that you want to pull in this set is um, Tapu Lele, just because of the playability. That's honestly all that I remember. 
So we have a Litwick, Pancham, Snowrunt, Cast Form, Vanillite, Electric Energy, Alolan Graveler, a Pseudo Wudo, Rescue Stretcher, a Hala Reverse, and a Upside Down Tapu Koko. Very nice. Let's go. This actually takes me back to when I first, I guess, got back into Pokemon, which was Evolutions. Around then, I went to my first pre-release, and from there, I wanted to like make a Tapu Koko deck. Then, shortly after, I just decided not to because I didn't really have the resources. I didn't really have like the cards needed to make a deck. So, I just decided to collect the cards instead. So yeah, we have a Tapu Koko GX. Let me actually sleeve this up. And I believe this is like my sixth copy because I really wanted to make a deck of this. But that was in the past, so what can you do? Alright, moving on to Cosmic Eclipse. More than the holographic, I want to pull the little, I guess, reverse holo? Or I don't really know what it's called, but then like the holographic with the trainer and the uh, Pokemon. So we have a Rufflet, Piplup, a Alolan Vulpix, Rockruff, Stuffle, Fire Energy, a Cynthia and a Caitlyn, a Rotom, Type Null, a Reverse Natu, and we have a Raichu non hollow Very cool artwork. Alright, and now we're getting into the most current set, which is Rebel Clash. Unfortunately, no Inteleon, but that's okay. Let's see what we can get. And I believe a card that everyone wants to pull is the boss's orders, just because of playability. Um, outside of that, I don't really know. I guess we can pull the starter Pokemon and their VMAX, but I yeah, can't really think of anything else. So we have a Galarian Farfetch'd, a Galarian Meowth, Caterpie, Galarian Corsola, so sad. Litwick, Grass Energy, a Sonya, Masquerain, Hatterim, Hatrim, Hatterim. Yes, okay. Reverse Heatmore, and a Sigilith non hollow. Alright, moving on to the final pack of this box. Hopefully, we can pull something. Not looking good, it's a green code. We have a Snover, Natu, Trubbish, Pidov, Helioptile, Metal Energy, Lampent, Galar Mine, Bronzong, Reverse Hatena, and the last card is a Wish Cash non hollow. So, not very exciting except for the Tapu Koko, but still, we did manage to get the figure and the promo card. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate everyone who watches my videos. Please like, comment, subscribe. I don't know when exactly this video will be up because I am recording a bunch of videos back to back, but the goal is to reach 200 subscribers. I think currently at the date of recording, I'm sitting at around 180, so we're pretty close. So if you do genuinely like my content, I would really appreciate a follow. So yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.